Hare Krishna. To respect Krishna, respect the time you have carved out for Krishna. Suppose we wanted to meet someone and that person nominally said that I respect you very much but if we want to meet them they are lot of the time and they are not there at that time it happens once, twice, thrice then actions speak louder than words through their words they may say that they respect us but through their actions they are showing, showing that they don't respect us now we turn this around and if we repeatedly neglect someone in terms of not sticking to the appointments that uh, we have made with them, the times which we have set for them, then that will they will get the message that we don't respect them. And this is what we often unwittingly do uh, with Krishna. Krishna is the Supreme Lord and if we even have a little bit of piety or spirituality, then we understand that God needs to be respected and revered. None of us would ever say that I don't, I don't respect God. But again, actions speak louder than words. And sometimes by our actions, uh, we may show that God is the last priority for us. We may plan to allot some time for Krishna, say go to a temple, go for a spiritual program. But we may cancel that. We may decide that this is the time I'm going to study Krishna's message, the Bhagavad Gita. But then something else comes up and we postpone that or we, we procrastinate about that till we hardly ever do it. Even during the chanting of the holy names of Krishna, we may just uh, decide to do it, carve out a time for it and then postpone it or be half attentive only in it. Through all such actions, we are showing Krishna that we don't respect him much. If we are respecting Krishna, if we are to take our relationship with Krishna seriously, then we need to respect the time that we carve out for him. And that means that even if other things come up, come up just as if we have fixed up an important appointment with someone, an appointment with someone whom we consider important, then we will try our best to push other things aside so that we can honor that appointment, honor that commitment. So this requires endeavor. And the Bhagavad Gita says in 9.14 that those who are serious devotees endeavor seriously, determinedly on the spiritual path. Satatam kirta yantoma yatantascha drudhavrataha namasyantascha maam bhaktya nitya yukta upasate satatam kirta yantoma that they are constantly endeavoring to serve Krishna with great determination. And this determination is required to deal with distractions that keep coming endlessly in this material world. So when we have this determination to not give in to distraction, that is an expression of our serious devotion. And that is how we show respect to Krishna. And when we show respect to Krishna, it is not that Krishna needs respect, but by that respectfulness, we connect properly with him. We open our head and heart to him and when he enters into our head, our heart, into our head and heart, he enriches our head and our heart with his all attractiveness and fills it with lasting joy and peace. Hare Krishna.